नमस्ते वेलकम टू एक्विट मैथ्स टू इनकाउंटर इंटरेस्टिंग मैथ प्रॉब्लम्स आई लव मैथ्स एंड होप यू टू दैट माई बी द रीजन यू आर हेयर एंड ट्रस्ट मी वोट रिग्रेट इट सो हेयर कम्स द क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी रेक्टेंगल्स आर देयर ऑन अ चेस बोर्ड या यू हर इट राइट ऑन अ चेस बोर्ड द ऑप्शन आर ए सिक्सटी फोर बी फाइव हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व सी ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी सिक्स डी फोर थाउजेंड एंड नाइन्टी सिक्स The correct answer is C, twelve hundred and ninety-six. In a chessboard, there are eight rows and eight columns, or we can say eight by eight layout. Let's count the number of rectangles starting with one box. It is clear that there is only one rectangle. Oh, this is square, but we are counting the number of rectangle. Well, then let me tell you. Square is a special case of rectangle where the length and the breadth are equal. So squares are also counted in the number of rectangles. Now for the two by two layout, I mean two rows and two columns. The number of rectangles, as you can count by saying, is one thousand four hundred and ninety-nine. Nine. Let's count for three by three layout where there are three rows and three columns. The number of rectangles is. Thirty-six. Don't worry, I'm not going to construct and count the rectangles for the rest of the layout. Well, I have figured out the pattern. Whatever pattern, let me discuss it. In a one by one layout, the number of the rectangle is one. That can be written as a square of one. On two by two layout, the number of rectangles is nine. That can be written as a square of three. And on three by three layout, the number of rectangles is thirty-six. That can be written as a square of six. And can you guess the number of rectangles on four by four layout? Let me show you the pattern. The difference between the three and the one is two. The difference between the six and the three is three. Now you can guess the value of x. If we follow the order of difference, that is two, three, the next should be four. I mean the difference between x and six should be four. And results in the value of x as ten. Then the number of rectangles on four by four layout is a square of ten, that is a hundred. So the number of rectangles in four by four layout is a hundred. But we want to know the number of rectangles on a chessboard, which is eight by eight layout. For that, let's continue the order of difference between layouts. Following the order, after four, five comes. And ten plus five is fifteen. The number of rectangles in five by five layout is a square of fifteen. That is two hundred and twenty-five. Now fifteen plus six is equal to twenty-one. The number of rectangle on six by six layout is a square of twenty-one. That is four hundred and forty-one. Twenty-one plus seven is twenty-eight. So the number of rectangles on seven by seven layout is seven hundred and eighty-four. Finally. Twenty-eight plus eight results in thirty-six, and the number of rectangles in eight by eight layout is twelve hundred and ninety-six. Hence, the number of rectangles on a chessboard is twelve hundred and ninety-six. That was too hard to calculate. Isn't there any other method to do it? Yes, we have combination topic that helps us to find not just the number of rectangles but also to solve other hard problems in seconds. Was solving the problem with the pattern method waste of time? No, it wasn't because the combination concept came from recognizing such patterns. Such patterns are the basic concept for the combination topic, which is left as a part of my next video. Now, let me wrap it by saying, if you like my way of furnishing math concept, then like my video and share it to your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button to watch more interesting math problems. Namaste.